Hey, what's happening everybody? Charles Maring here, and today I wanna to talk about the Lumix G9, Lumix GH5 series of cameras as well, and talk about how to set them up for your own personal shooting style and have it custom to you. But first, let's roll that intro. <laughs> coolest parts about a modern camera like the Lumix G9 or GH5 series of cameras is that there's so many possibilities. One of the toughest parts of it is that can be daunting as well, especially when you dive into the menu and see just how complex it is and just how many options you have. But what Lumix has done that I think is really awesome is they have set these cameras up that in a way that allow you to customize everything to your own way of thinking and own way of shooting. And I'm gonna show you how to set up the My Menu section of your Lumix camera today so that you can have it set specifically for your own individual tastes, needs, and style. Let's do it, let's dive in. Uh, the Lumix G9 here today, I have running via a Sling Studio Hub. I've got it coming out of the HDMI port and that's gonna allow me to show you the in-camera menus here. So let's just shift over to the inside of the G9. You're looking at the back of the art studio here and all that I have going on, but we're gonna tilt it down and I'm gonna dive into the menu. Just click on menu. And as you can see, these menus are pretty overwhelming and complex. If you have to find something, even if you've seen it a million times and know what you're looking for, when you've got this many options, it can drive you a bit nutty, a bit batty, and so one of the cool features is this new My Menu section. If you navigate down to the icon that looks like a person, click on Menu, click on My Menu Setting, we can add all of the features that we want at our fingertips for the way we shoot. So let me click on Set or Menu, and we're gonna go in. I'm gonna add a couple things here. Let's click on Aspect Ratio, hit Save, because sometimes I shoot 4.3 when I'm doing the portraits, for, for instance, I'll shoot 16.9 when I'm working in a video format, uh, and I'll work one by one when I'm thinking just Instagram. So we want that at our fingertips. How about picture quality? Absolutely, sometimes I shoot raw, other times I shoot in a JPEG mode. What else do I like in here? Custom, uh, nope, we're gonna add photo style, because I switch all the time from V-Log to standard to L monochrome, so that's a good thing at my fingertips. What else do I use normally here? Just gonna scroll down quickly, see a few things that come to mind. Uh, time-lapse animation, I'm gonna add that because when I'm doing time-lapses, I like that at my fingertips. High resolution mode for when I wanna shoot those amazing 80 megapixel stills on this camera. Don't need silent mode or shutter type. I'll show you why actually before we close today. Uh, we're gonna HDR, sometimes I wanna do something in that high dynamic range setting, use that pretty often. Record quality, yes, for uh, all of my different videos, I wanna have record quality at my fingertips. Filter settings, I like that in case I wanna do something outside the norm with some creativity using the built-in filters. And flicker decrease, that's great if I'm working in video and uh, I see some flicker going on that may help in those situations. And that is a good amount of things that we just added. Let me just quickly go through and see if there's anything else that I see at my fingertips that I like to have. Manual focus assist, a lot of times I'll change that. So we'll add that in. And I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Oh, histogram, sometimes I accidentally turn that off. So I'd like to have that at my fingertips. And that's a good amount of things. Oh, lens position resume, I'll add that too. So that's a good amount of things I added, things that I have to go to the menu for sometimes and I want them at my fingertips. So I'm just gonna click the little arrow on the far left here, get us out of this section here, all the way back to normal. Now here's what's cool, right? I'm in the menu, I scrolled all the way up to camera and now I'm gonna tap the shutter button and that's gonna take me uh, out of the menus that we were just looking at. And so why is my menu so important? Well, it's important because, let me dive back into the camera, when I'm working in the field, I'm a photographer or filmmaker, 
A lot of times I may want to change something. Well, now when I click on menu, we are able to be at my menu here and my menu is specifically set up for my way of thinking, my way of shooting, rather than having to go through the menu to, to find every little detail of the, you know, when I'm only using maybe 15% of the camera's functions for most of my work, I can have it at my fingertips. Now here's what's cool, I'm gonna click on my menu setting, which is always there. We can add to this, we can delete specifics or delete all, we can even sort them based on what's important, it's gonna tell me select the menu to move. Let's say aspect ratio is not as important to me as quality, I just click on it, I select where I want to move it, and I'll just go down one, click set, and now it has physically changed the order for me, and when I go, let me click out and go back into menu, you'll see that indeed aspect ratio is below quality because we just changed the sort order, and so this is what's so cool about the new Lumix lineup of cameras, especially these flagship cameras. This new My Menu feature is really helpful for a lot of us who have a specific way of shooting, a specific way of thinking, and really only seek specific functions in the menu on a regular basis. And that's how you can customize it. I mentioned one thing and that was silent mode. I'm gonna go ahead and mention this. Uh, the Lumix G9, this is specific to the G9 only, has this little toggle right down here. And what's beautiful about this is it, at, when it ships, it comes set up for changing from uh, the electronic shutter to the manual shutter. And if I, all I have to do is that. And so I can go from hearing the shutter or into a silent mode because it's using the electronic shutter instead uh, just by clicking there. So I didn't need to add that into the menu. There are also some other custom bu function buttons on the cameras. This is true for the GH5, GH5S as well. You'll see FN1, FN2, uh, FN3 over here. GH5 is a little different but similar. If you press and hold those, they will become whatever it is that you want in the menu. So really, there's a lot of ways to custom set this up to have it your own custom menu, but literally have other aspects at your literal fingertips, if you wish, as well. So much to these new cameras, but so cool that you can customize them for your own way of thinking and shooting. And that's a wrap on today. I appreciate you, everybody. Have a great one.